Now the Quran is not such that you need to start right at the first page and go through and go through like you would a documentary or something that you read a, a mystery novel or something like that. The Quran is such that Allah can guide you by whatever page you open it to. If he wants to guide you, you can believe he can guide you right to what he wants. There's another verse that had a big impact on another person that came to Islam. A young man had been into drugs, he had been into so many bad things and so much trouble and he was on the verge of committing suicide. He was about to just take his own life. He was just wandering the streets and he saw some men standing on the corner in the city in Texas and he saw them giving out some pamphlets or something and he asked them and they recognized right away this is a drug addict, this is a bad guy, you know. We're, don't need you around us. Somehow he got a Quran from them, translation by the way, it's a translation, and he took it to his place. And in the middle of the night he opened it up and he said, I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but if there's a God, I need help. I don't know what to do. He opened it and he closed his eyes and he went like this and put his finger down on it. Now, I don't recommend that that's how you read Quran, but that's what he did. For those who know the Arabic language, you'll know right away what he had his finger on because he looked at it. This is the English uh, that I'm saying now, but I'm going to switch to Arabic. He saw that. He said, but now for those who don't have the Arabic, it says more or less, on this day, and God is speaking to all of us through this, on this day have I perfected for you your way of life and conferred upon you my greatest favor and chose for you the surrender, submission, obedience, and sincerity and peace which is the summation of the word Islam. He said as soon as he saw that, he started crying. He said, this is my religion. This is what I've been looking for my whole life. He couldn't go to sleep. The next morning he was banging on the door of the masjid. And of course, they're there for Fajr, you know, for the morning prayers. And he was standing there and they said, this is a drug addict guy, you know, oh man. And they saw him crying and they don't know what's the matter with him and he's telling them that I read something and I, I know I have to be a Muslim. They gave him shahada but they were pretty concerned about it because they weren't sure, you know, is this guy for real or what? They brought him to our masallah where I was and that's when I met him and he told me his whole story and he said, how could it be out of all the verses in the Quran, and this is just uh, just opening it up like this and putting your finger down, how could it be? But Allah also says in the same book, it's not you, it's not you who guide, it's not you who guide the ones you love, but it is Allah who guides those whom He wants to this straight path.